Today we'll report on a place that's surrounded by legends and shrouded in mystery. We're speaking of Stonehenge, the great megalithic circle in England. Interestingly, you can find a megastructure beneath the ruins of Stonehenge. Recently, researchers have discovered that Stonehenge is not an isolated entity. Thanks to new scanning techniques and magnetic imaging, Stonehenge has been identified as a center of a complex network of structures covering approximately 12 square kilometers. Megalithic structures that existed for thousands of years and are only now coming to light. Pictures of the analyses carried out show that Stonehenge was once part of a complicated network. Among them were some burial mounds, unknown settlements, processional paths, and even burial sites decorated with gold. These sites belong to an era of the highest order. Then, in 2015, they discovered a structure they called Superhenge, a circle of megaliths with a diameter of 500 meters located about 3 kilometers from Stonehenge. Superhenge consists of about 60 rocks that are about 3 meters high and 1.5 and meters wide. Over time, the stones fell and were buried, but in the past they formed a structure that looked exactly like Stonehenge. Superhenge must have been one of the most important formations of its time due to its size. Currently, leading scientists support the theory that the large rocks that formed the temple were located about 260 kilometers from Wales. It seems as if the distance was too far to transport these heavy blocks. However, archaeologist Mike Parker Pearson notes that the transport of small megaliths, like the blue stones, which usually weighed two tons or less, could have been transported easily with a sled. But there are also theories that say that the transport was not executed by human hands. Although it sounds like a joke, some say that the Neolithic people did not move the stones at all and that glaciers transported the stones through natural forces to the south of Britain. On the other hand, the author of an article published in a British archaeologic magazine believes that at least two of Stonehenge's largest and most important stone blocks have been in the position where they are now for millions of years, even before the Neolithic people arrived. As we can see, the mystery of Stonehenge is far from solved and there will be much more to discover. And who knows what new disclosures the future will surprise us with.